you know, by now you've probably seen at least a half a dozen videos on how to build a TV antenna. And this one is no exception. And uh, on my channel, I've had, I, I've made at least four designs of uh, TV antennas. And it seems, I, I, everything I do pretty much is pretty much by experiment. And a lot of experiments don't work out, and some of them do. And, uh... <clears throat> For this one, this experiment worked out better than all of the other antennas that I built. So, uh, what I'm going to be showing you how to build today is this one right here. And this is actually a smaller version of it. But this is what it's going to look like. And I, I know what you're thinking. It probably looks very familiar. And uh, there are different uh, shapes that I have experimented with. And the triangles work best out of everything that I've tried. I've tried the, the little V's, I've tried the squares, and these triangles seem to work better than all of those. Also, in, in just like in my videos and most other videos that you watch, uh, people use copper wire. And I, I do in mine also, but in this video I'm going to be using a galvanized wire. Now I've had, it asked, I've had people ask me about galvanized wire. I've never used it until just uh, recently. I built a couple antennas, uh, a couple Tri-4 antennas, and one of them I made out of copper, the other one I made out of galvanized, and I didn't tell any difference. And so uh, if you're going outside with it, uh, you're going to mount your antenna outside, then galvanized is a really good choice. And uh, so, but anyway, I put all of my antennas up in the attic, and so uh, if I was going outside, maybe I would use a PVC pipe base. But since I'm going in my attic, I'm going to be using a wood base. And this piece of wood is uh, is almost 23 inches long. I'm going to have a little bit extra on the bottom, but that's okay. Uh, but the reason I'm going with wood is because I'm going to use a piece of wood like this. It's got a couple holes on the top and I can screw it on there and then I can just pivot however I want and this piece is going to be attached to the beam in my attic and so it'll just hang just like that and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces of galvanized wire at 56 inches long and I'm going to use a, a sharpie I wish I had a black one but I just got a red one but it'll do as long as I can see it. I can just mark both of them at the same time, 56 inches. Now if you're working in metric, it's going to be 142.24 centimeters. There's that one. Now the materials you want to use, you need a, you need a base. And what I have here is PVC material in the form of a 1x2. It's 3 quarter of an inch thick and 1 and a half inches wide. And so I already installed the screws with some washers there for where my elements are going to attach to. And then I got a couple holes here that I can use to secure them on to my base. Just like that. And you're also going to need one of these. Let's see if I can show you that. It's a matching transformer. And you can Google these uh, and order them online, or you might find them in your home improvement store. I, I found one in my home improvement store. It was an uh, it was an outdoor transformer, and it had a it had a wire. It had the the connecting wires about that long, but it still does the same job. Another thing I want to show you is that I took a piece of copper wire and I just kind of taped it in there. If you can see that. I just taped it in there and I use that as a crimp. So I can crimp these things just like that. One there and one there. And you can see how I crimp the, let's see, the lighting in here. There we go. And you can see how I crimp that in there. And that will keep the wires from sliding around on you when you go to put it together because on this PVC material they just really want to slide around. 
uh, I built an antenna using round PVC pipe and doing the same thing and I just couldn't keep the elements on there. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, now that I've got these cut at 56 inches, I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to mark a mark every 7 inches. So 7, 14, 21, and so on, all the way down. And I'm going to mark these with a Sharpie. I can mark them both at the same time. All right. I'm going to take my needle nose pliers. And starting at the center. I'll put that mark right about on the side. And I'll give it a bend. I'm going to bend it at 60 degrees. Doesn't have to be perfect because we can finish doing that when we put it on our, on our base. And then for that last one right there, so if we show you, you're not going to bend it all the way this way, you're just going to bend it halfway that way. And so that when we're done with making our bends, it's going to look like that. That's, that's kind of rough. We'll, we'll straighten it out once we get it put on our base. And I'll do the same thing to the other one. And that's what we want to try to do is, is try to get a perfect triangle in between each one of them. Everywhere you go. And then these, these two on the top, you want them to be parallel with each other. Just like that. So that's the other one. Now let's build our base. That's one I showed you. That's going to be in the center. And since I'm, I'm mounting this in my attic, the top two, let me show you this, the very top two, they poke up kind of a lot. And I need to be able to swing it around. You can see that my elements are a little bit taller. So I need to eliminate that and bring these, these PVC connections down. And so what I'm going to do, this is going to, this is going to be my top, and I'm going to come down three inches to the top of my PVC material. So we'll do that, three inches. I don't know if you can see that. Three inches. And let's just make a mark with our pencil so we don't lose where we are. And we'll go ahead and put this first one in. Try to center it up. Okay. Now for the next one, I want to go from bottom to bottom to the same side. For me, it would be the right side to the right side, or the left side of the left side. And I want to measure exactly seven inches. So mark that. Next one, and you know what? This might be a little faster. much better. Now I'm just using drywall screws for mine. But if you're going outside you might want to use an exterior screw. And here we go. Now when we put our screws in for our elements, we want to leave them up about a quarter of an inch. Something close to that. Yeah. Just about like that. 
And now let's get our elements in. Before we put them on, we need to make sure that we get some sandpaper. I just got a sanding pad here and sand down where the contact points for our matching transformer is going to hook to get hooked to it. Where our matching transformer connects. And then it's going to go like that. Alright? Yeah. And the first thing I'm going to do, what, what I can do is I can hold it upside down and I can get the elements in there that way. Holding it upside down allows those washers to fall. And I'm going to do the top and the bottom first. Let's screw that down. Snug. And I want to pull it down just a little bit like that so that when I go to hook it on, it stays. So I'll pull it down a little bit and I'll just leave that for right now. <clears throat> and now, since, since I've got seven inches, I don't have to try to shape these as far as getting that perfect triangle because it's going to automatically go into place. So, first let's get our elements put on there. I think somebody was trying to spy on me. This is the top, and this, you want to make sure that you put this in the right way, otherwise it's going to be upside down. And let's get this matching transformer in between the element and the washer. This can be a challenge sometimes. Let's go ahead and get this one tied down first. Nice and snug there. Nice and snug and we'll kind of just snug things down. And you know crimping, making crimps in that PVC really paid off because this stuff really wants to slide around on that PVC material. There we go. And now, with it laying down flat, I, I can work it to where things are nice and level. And just get the shapes that I'm looking for trying to get that perfect triangle. There, there we go. I think you can see all of that. And there it is. And now, when I attach that to my beam, I'll be able to turn it in all directions. Just like that. Now I'm going to just clamp this up in, in my other room where I have my TV, and we'll give it a test. Right, well, there it is. I've got it mounted up there. Just I just got it clamped on a, on a piece of wood there. Pardon the mess. This is my office where I do all my goofing around. And I've done a channel scan and I got rid of all of the uh, sub channels. So all we got is just the main channels. Here is uh, WKRG here. That's not showing a very good signal, but this, this station is 64 miles away from my house. And I've got this antenna just in my room. So if I had it outside, just it, it would come in beaming. And so here is WXVO. This one is RF channel 13. And uh, it's 10 miles from my house. This channel wouldn't come in at all with my fractal bow tie. And so uh, I'm very happy with this antenna. And WLOX is 23 miles away. WMAH is 21 miles away. Now, of course, I've got my antenna turned toward Mobile and not toward these stations here. WXXV is 23 miles away. So I've got two bars, but let me show you what this looks like. When I turn this thing, I'll turn it toward my local stations. 
And so now, WXXV comes in beaming. WMAH comes in beaming. And WLOX comes in beaming. Now WXVO and WKRG are in the same direction. So I'm going to have to adjust it. Of course, here we go. And this is with it not turned in the same direction. I mean, turned the way it is now. But <coughs> WKRG is not going to come in since I don't have it turned to it. But anyway, I'm going to be replacing my fractal bow ties in my attic with this one. I've already got two of them replaced. I've got my uh, living room TV replaced with this and my dining room and this one's going to go for my bathroom. And so that's it. I hope this video really helped you out and uh, wish you the best of luck with your antenna building and uh, feel free to just uh, uh, put your own spin on this if you want. It just might work even better for you.